Hello and welcome back to the workshop. Today I've got this rotten door sill. I've just chopped this out of a door frame at one of my customers. This is going to be a small little patch repair that's turned into a slightly more extensive repair than I had initially planned. You can see on the screen now the door frame where I've chopped that out. I didn't film the removal process but it basically involved a multi-tool and not a lot of effort to remove the sill so it's pretty rotten at the frame joint locations. So now we're back in the workshop I'm going to cut a cross section of this through and make a replacement one of these out of a coir that's not going to rot. The frame is actually pretty good, the jams of the frame, so they're not rotten. There's a tiny, tiny bit, about five mil up the jam. So my initial plan for this is to take this cross section here. It's a flat sill with a weathered edge and where the weather bar, it sticks up. I'm gonna actually make the new sill slightly taller. So that's gonna become a rebate and not a groove. And then the bevel of the outside of the sill will be slightly taller. So we're actually gonna make a thicker sill section and replace it. So that'll allow us on the frame side to cut a little bit more off the bottom of that shoulder on the frame jam and hopefully make a good solid repair that will last a decent amount of time. So to get some accurate dimensions to work from, I'm just gonna get a really clean crosscut section from the Watkins CC. So with my sill section, how it's gonna be in the door frame, I can put the old sill back on top and work out how it's gonna look. The old sill is drawn on here just traced around it so the old frame sits about here so that's the jam of the frame and this there's a little bit of rot in this frame here so my plan is to start my sill section from up here we'll set nine degrees on there draw down from where our rebate's going to start that's going to be the cut for the sill then going to use a piece of stainless steel bar to back this rebate here so that this piece of wood that is left as a rebate doesn't become incredibly vulnerable. So anything underfoot, I try to keep any seals or anything that's got a sharp edge protected so that when people tread on it, it doesn't get worn away. So that section there will have a stainless bar groove run in it. And then we're going to take the door off and put a draft seal grooved into the bottom of the door, which will work on this steel bar. So it's kind of a foolproof system that you're not gonna destroy your draft strip over time. So back on site, I can slide the second section under the sill to where it's going to sit. Make sure that's level and use my off cut here just to mark the frame. Thank you. 
For the plastic. Funny job. So there we go, we've got that all cut in. So I've cut the profile of the sill onto the end of the jams. My reference point was the inside edge of the old sill. So the flat there is now remaining the same for where the door will fit to. So if I just jack that up with an air wedge, you can see that when I glue that in place, it's gonna fit pretty nicely up under them jams. I can cover that all in glue and then uh, fire some screws down at the angle just to secure the frame to the sill. But before I get carried away with fixing that, I'm just going to take the bottom section of the sill out. So slide that out. Uh, take all the sharp edges off this and put a coat of end grain sealer all over this. I'm not sure if the sill's being painted or stained because the customer's away at the minute. So I've just got some white end grain sealer. I'll coat the entire bottom and all the end grain and everywhere that's not seen with the sealant and then it can be fitted. That can dry while I have my lunch and it can be stained or painted on the top after it's all been cleaned off and finished. Yeah, look at that, beautiful. So I'm just going to use a flat packer and some PU glue to coat the underside of the frame. So on the end grain, make sure everything's nice and sealed. Plenty on there. We can always clean this off afterwards. On. That worked really well. I've never done this before where I've split the sill, uh, raised it up and slid it in because every door repair I've ever done has had to have a new jam section. So normally you'd put a completely solid sill in and then chop your jam section down onto it. But that has worked incredibly well. Quite lucky really we caught it when the frame was still nice and solid and then just chopping a new shoulder a little bit higher up has made a good job of it. So now I've took the door off. This is going to want sealing underneath anyway, so it's a good job of taking this off. But I can router in a draft strip that's going to be backed by this rebate that will then hit that stainless steel bar. So while we're here, I'll just mention these adapters for the new style TS55 hose outlet. It's a, an adapter I bought off Etsy from a guy named Ben. He calls himself Work, uh, work Accessories. It's basically an adapter for the TS55 saws with this new style fitting for the hose connection. And it enables you to lock that on and it, for it to not move at all so it locks it completely in place and that was really annoying about the new saws is that as soon as you put your hose in the adapter there 
they just used to flop around and point downhill so when you made a cut it fouled the cut every time so really good bit of kit so go check them out i'll put a link for that in the description This is the world's most awkward little room because there's a 16 inch deep boxing pretty much the same height as the door off of the door frame the door has to go in between the stairs and the frame So there we go, that is the finished article. I really enjoyed this one actually because I've tried a new technique there in splitting that sill and raising it up underneath the cuts of the charm to be able to get it physically in place with the limited amount of room available. So it's nice to try something new and it be successful. So let me know what you think of that technique. But like I say, it's not very often you get a door sill repair where the rot hasn't extended up the jams. But like always, if you enjoyed, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already.